Welcome to this new video. Today we're here in Campus Zernica and we're gonna do one of the most requested videos in the channel so far. We're gonna do a tour of the Faculty of Science and Engineering campus. We're gonna visit the four main buildings. And we're gonna also go in the best studying spots so you guys can have an idea of how it's like uh, studying here and how it's life here on campus. So this video is presented by the Faculty of Science and Engineering. It's in collaboration with them. And let's start. Campus Zernica is one of the oldest um, campus and most known campus here in the Netherlands. It has it's really big and includes two different universities, the University of Groningen and the Hanse University of Applied Science, which is more back there. Behind us, it's the, it's the more business and economic side of the campus, which we won't show today. We're gonna visit four buildings. The first is gonna be Nuremberg, and then we're gonna go to Lionsburg, to the Bernoulli Borg, to the Energy Academy. Some history of the campus. First born in the 1960s with the Nuremberg. It's a mix of public and private institutions. Today, we're gonna have Kate helping us with this video. Hi. And Josh is behind the camera, he's also gonna help us with filming all the shots. So let's start with Nuremberg. So as you can see here, we are in Nuremberg 4. So Nuremberg is, is one of the oldest buildings uh, here in Campus Zernica. It opened in the 90, late 1960s, 60s, so it's actually really old. As you can see, uh, here we are the departments of physics and chemistry. That's where I study the most. I do industrial engineering and I spend most of my time here. I have many lectures and tutorials here. Since this is one of the oldest buildings. It's gonna be uh, kind of replaced. We're building a new building right behind me, right there. That's the Feringa building, which is named after the Nobel Prize winner Ben Feringa. This new building is gonna open in summer 2023. And most of the classes, gonna, this building is going to be moved there. This building is really old, but there are many labs. So we're going to go in, quickly inside, we're going to go through, and then we're going to arrive to the Energy Academy, which is one of the newest buildings uh, here in Campus Zerni. So here we have the, the cafeteria, and, uh, and then we have there the department uh, with, uh, where they cut metal, they have many machines. And that's where I'm spending most of my time, so I'm doing some labs there. And then we have the two main lecture halls of Nuremberg. Should we check if there's someone who liked it? Let's see if we can. 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 Look, there's a light switch over there. That's one of the two lecture halls that we have here in, uh, in Nuremberg. Yeah. How the Feringa building is going to look like. So it's way bigger than compared to this one. But we're gonna do a tour of that really soon. Well, oh, it's a nice day today. Here you can see the, the solar panels. The Energy Academy is the most sustainable educational building here in the Netherlands. An interesting thing about these solar panels is that they are placed in a way that they catch more sun, so more radiation, but also they allow the light to come through the, the top of the building. Let's go inside and explore a bit more. What I like about this building is how exposed are the labs. Kate was mentioning, but you, you think that these areas have been wasted. Now. But I mean, it's definitely in the best way possible to see everything and how much natural light comes through. So there are a few studying spots here, there are a few rooms where you can gonna have some tutorials and stuff. Here's the lecture hall. No one has lectures anymore. It's almost exam period, so lectures are pretty much done. This is probably the nicest place uh, here, uh, the best studying spot, I would say. And we did an amazing job with the landscape here. It's really, really nice. Sometimes it gets a bit warm here, but it's still really, really cool. Actually, I filmed one of my videos there, a five things to do video right there. This is a really nice place to study, to also hang out with your friends after a lecture. Here uh, in Groningen is that you have lectures and then you have laboratories and tutorials. Tutorials is where you 
you actually learn with a TA, with a teaching assistant. And that's where you can do exercises with them, they can guide you through uh, what, you, uh, what you study in the lectures. And these are the places. Okay, you still eating tortillas? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go back to her and then we go to, to Bernoulli Borg. So actually, uh, for a second, many people wonder what this is. It's like a nano car that helps you transport and medicines inside the body, which is built by Ben Feringa, the, the Nobel Prize winner, which uh, the new building is going to be named after. Bernoulli Borg has many study spots, has a cafeteria and a restaurant inside, and has a free lecture hall. So we are in uh, Bernoulli Borg. Kate is waving. I want to show the lecture hall and some of the spaces uh, here in the first floor. There's two atriums in this building, one here, one on the other part, and below we have the lecture hall and the study, uh, study area. It's just a nice place I want you to show. Let's go below, we have the cafeteria. One of the biggest studies uh, landscape we have uh, here in the Neuburg and in general in the Faculty of Science part of the Ternike campus. The architecture here is really nice. Another nice area where you have the computers here. Now we're gonna go there to the Andersburg. It's this green floating building, it's also really nice. And here you can see the garden in front where we often chill after lectures and in sunny days, in the really rare sunny days. One other cool thing about uh, this building is that there's an observatory at the top floor and there's a telescope. We can actually observe and take pictures about, about space. There's also a spectroscope. Spec Spectrometer. Spectrometer, maybe, maybe. Do you um, understand the, the chemo chemical compositions of um, observed objects? Hopefully, we're gonna do a tour of that uh, of a telescope as well very soon. And yeah, let's get you line as well. nice you have like a green space between the building to, to hang out. Apart from Nuremberg, each building has its own underground bike parking and this is the one for Elaine as well. So this building is named after the Swedish physician and zoologist Carl I swear, I forgot it again. It's named after Carl Linus. So this is a building mainly for uh, biotechnology and microbiology. We have this really nice area where we're literally on the canal. So that's a really relaxing spot for to study. You can also go upstairs. As just said, you, you come here to study before exams sometimes. Since it's elevated, it's a bit more quiet. If it was sunny, a bit more open, I would come here every day. Look at the view we have from here. It's just beautiful. The cool thing about here is that we, this is grass. This is, a, this is a garden that goes all the way to the, to the top of the, of the building, to the, to the roof of the building. From below, from the garden below, it actually looks really nice. I was scared. If I drop my phone here, yeah, I won't see it again. <laughs> Yeah, please don't drop your phone. <laughs> Here we are actually in the floating part of the, of the building. And you can see the, the bikes coming below. We are done for the Annisburg. That's it for this video today. I hope you enjoyed this campus tour of Zernica. We went through the, all the main buildings, but probably we left something. We didn't speak about everything because we keep it, we try to keep it simple. But if you have any, any question, please leave it down below in the comments. And all the information we have, we're gonna, we're gonna link it in the description below so you can learn about uh, all the facilities here at the Faculty of Science and Engineering. Big thank you to all the people who participated to this video. Yeah, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please show us your support, subscribe to the channel. 
and see you to the next one. Bye bye. Okay, this means the video is gonna go viral. <laughs> What are we doing, bro? Oh, cool. You want a piece of tortilla?